high synthesis or no uh, Builder Coast Lab Lab. Builder Coast Lab Lab was one of my all time favorite plant names. And then they changed it to Lab Lab Purpurea. So I guess I'll accept it. But uh, we're getting into a point at which a lot of these things have these P shaped uh, flowers. Uh, Wisterius flowers are sort of P-shaped. Obviously, sweet pea from last uh, last week uh, becomes P-shaped. Uh, but really and truly, um, these are unique, I suppose. And uh, in, in, uh, well, they don't ever. They're never any other color besides this sort of a lightish purple lilac to a pink. Okay. And then once they begin to senesce, they uh, they just sort of fall off. And then you can see the beginning of the actual hyacinth bean. Okay. And that's the fruit. So up here on the tip of the of the uh, flower uh, structures, you see the, the beginning of the hyacinth bean. And here's a good one right here. All right. The hyacinth beans, they'll get to be the actual bean uh, bean pod will be, probably be about uh, four, three or four inches long. All right. With beans in there, and they uh, germinate really readily, and they're very vigorous. I, transplanted these in this pot about uh, two weeks ago and they were about yay tall so they they mean business once they begin to grow okay. the beans stay purple like this yes yeah and that's another another good point you know, they don't mess with my lab I was just asking a question what does, does it mean <laughs> business do what get out of here all right so if you look also um, on this particular uh, structure here, you'll see that the the leaves are actually uh, trifolia, okay? trifolia leaves. That's another good identification characteristic. Okay. So you see these three, and they're I guess the one on the tip is more deltoid than the rest of them. The other ones are almost sort of a uh, chordate shape to some extent, without the the bend in the heart. All right, trifoliate, uh, a nice dark green, as long as they're fertilized. And then uh, they do have some issues with some insects and things like that, but you know, that is what it is. And you'll also notice that there are a little, uh, the remnants of uh, tendrils or leaf structures at the base of each of these leaves. So trifoliate leaves with sort of a purplish uh, red cast to all the venation, to all the petioles and all the stems. And then you see these P-shaped or P-shaped uh, flowers that are a light lavender to a, a, a pink, eventually terminating in these hyacinth beans that are the fruit. Okay? Uh, very easy. All you have to do from one year to the next to get, get this to continue uh, on for you is just save the seed and then toss them out the next, next year. And they do well, all right? This will not, uh, typically won't come back year after year. So you have to make sure you do that. All right.